Yes, another wig. Yes, <laughs> stay tuned. Hi guys, yeah, so I've been, um, I've been doing a little wig buying. I have been. I've gotten some really great deals I shared with you. The Tressalore wig that I got and um, how much I really love it. But I also got this and I wasn't really going to buy this wig because I, I you know, sometimes you look at the photo of the model on the website and you go, Mm -mm. And that's happened to me a couple of times, you know, where, where I've gotten a wig and I've looked at the photo of the model on the website and I'm like, oh, no, no, not me. So anyways, I, I didn't like the model on the website for this, this wig. I really didn't. This is Raquel Welch, a real deal. And this is new in 2020. I didn't like the photos. I thought, oh, my God. And then I saw a couple of reviews. I saw Marlene Fab and Glam, um, Marlene Wig Chat wig chat, sorry, chat room, wig and chat room. Um, I saw her review it. I'll link it below. I saw Taz review it. I think I saw Eileen Crazy Wig Lady review it. And there might have been a few others. And um, I watched the reviews and I thought, wow, that really looks nice. So now I'm going to show it to you on someone that has a fuller face, you know, a, a bigger body, bigger boned, because I think Taz and Eileen are very petite. And Marlene is actually shorter than I am, but she's got more of a long, angular face, where mine is more wide. <laughs> so, Raquel Welch, real deal, and I got a real deal on this. This is in the, my favorite color in the Raquel Welch line, Shaded Cappuccino, and I love it. Now, I have my ponytail in the back, so there might be a little bit of a bump, but what I really like about this is how natural it looks. I think this is so pretty. Now, Jay is not a fan of the blunt edges. And I think the blunt edges, while the cut is kind of different, I think the blunt edges give it an edgy, kind of relaxed, more casual look than, say, my wigs like Editor's Pick, where I have more waves and more curl and more fullness. Or even, which has really grown to be one of my favorite wigs is my Raquel Welch Upstage. It's very casual, it's very straight, but it's it's like, I want to say an elegant look or maybe a more traditional look, I don't know, where this is a more edgy look. So I think this is so, so cute. This is again Raquel Welch. This is a real deal. I love her. I'm going to give you some outside shots and then I'm going to show you the cap. And you let me know what you think. I just think this is beautiful. Again, shaded cappuccino, my favorite color in the Raquel Welch line. And you cannot, I don't care, I've had a number of different brands. You cannot beat the lace front on a Raquel Welch wig. Just cannot. Impeccable, it's impeccable. It really is so, so pretty. I love it. Absolutely love this. Now, I'm going to show you the inside. Absolutely beautiful fibers. This is heat defiant. So you could actually put some curl into it if you want, but I actually love the edginess of the blunt cut here. And it is sort of like bob style, very layered, shorter in the back, angles in the front. The monofilament basically goes from ear tab to ear tab. So you have parting options no matter where. And the same thing with the lace front. The lace front is absolutely beautiful. No permatease at all. At least I don't, I can't feel it. A bit of an extended nape. Again, we're cut Welch for some people runs a little large. For me, it runs perfect. This is an average cap for me. And oh my gosh, is it ever Ever, ever beautiful. Absolutely love this.